All right, so we are bringing you new coronavirus information every day, and tonight we're talking about Grant County. You might be asking yourself why. Well, Governor Jay Inslee announced certain criteria for larger counties to apply for a variance to move on to phase two. Well, Grant County was not a part of those 10 counties able to move forward. So let's take a look at some figures right now. Grant County has a total of 98,740 people, rounding up to 1,000, 100,000. They'll need 10 or less cases for 14 days and they've done that for the past 14 days from today. But if we take a look at this graph, you'll see the confirmed cases steadily going on an upward climb. You'll see that in orange. However, new cases are relatively low. Those are down here and mostly zeros and ones from today. And the highest two days were March 14th and April 29th. Both days only saw about 11 cases. So why didn't Grant County get approved to go forward? Well, that's because the state chose certain dates to gauge whether or not they'd be eligible. And those dates were April 28th through May 12th to gauge those numbers, like I said. And during those two weeks, the county had 29 case cases, which is greater than 10. And so far, Grant County has 186 confirmed cases, four deaths, 2,036 tests done so far. In Grant County, Atkinson says even if one person gets coronavirus, it's really a big deal. I started going through the list and talking with our health officer, Dr. Brezhny, so we feel like at least we can put the plan together and ask the state to look at the more current data set uh, as a consideration for maybe Grant County could be included with that most recent group. Atkinson is urging residents of Grant County to wear masks and always practice social distancing so you can get to phase two. She always also says businesses should not open their doors without proper guidance into phase two.